Hello, Emma. All right, let's start off by looking at what went wrong already. You don't start off the video even before you form any thought or value by going. <laughs> It makes you seem like a pretentious douchebag. MMA addiction. This is C. McKay again. Now, I don't want you to think this is all going to be negative. This is mostly constructive. Um, the thumbs up. This is CMCK. This is MMA addiction. That, that actually would have been an excellent hello to returning fans to let people know, hey, how you doing? You know, before you start shitting on everyone. Go ahead. I, I'm just gonna have to vent right now because I am so pissed off and I'm gonna go on a rant. Okay, first of all, John Jones is the most selfish and narcissistic piece of shit to ever fight in MMA. The most narcissistic piece of shit in all of MMA. It's pretty bold, man. I, I think I would have liked to have had a comparison there. Uh, there's so many pieces of shit in MMA that you really could have gone off on. But I don't really know where you're coming from. Um, okay, you don't like John Jones, that's fine. I, I think that's actually a pretty legitimate decision, but... G give me give me a top ten piece of shit list. H how about a top five? How about at least a top three? Give us a ranking where you sit there and say, I put Jones next to Hyam Gracie. Um, I put John Jones next to Gilbert Ivel on the piece of shit list. Mm, that's not maybe not necessarily narcissistic. I could go back and argue that point, but I'm getting a little bit off point. This should be your list and not mine. I think you missed out on a chance for something that could have been more amusing than just writing John Jones's ass. You could have sat there and said, this is why he's so much worse than fighters B, C, and D. But, go ahead. He turns down this fucking fight with Sonnen, because I don't even know why. Because Probably because he's fucking scared. No idea. No chance to be objective whatsoever. Um, how's about Chael Sonnen isn't really 205? How's about not taking a padded match? Um, how's about Chael Sonnen hasn't earned it? How's about Chael Sonnen's blown a drug test? How's about that's not the guy he was booked to fight? Anything! I, I mean, you know, you could have even downplayed them as being shitty excuses, but you sat there and went, oh, I, I couldn't even imagine. Continue. And so the UFC lost probably just millions of dollars, because they had to cancel the event. All the money they spent on fucking advertising, and having to pay for the venues and all this shit. And then, but even on top of that, thing that makes me mad more than any- On top of everything else, you're already doing your- <laughs> Richard Nixon angry as pissed. This whole time, you could have built up to that. This really would have been probably something where you would have needed at least more than one take to really build up the boiling point. I mean, you've already shown that you're angry as hell. Um, it's it's lost its impact. Um, no one really gives a shit about the UFC losing money. Um, thing is, there's 16 other fighters on the card. Some of which have to be that this was so goddamn important, you couldn't fucking remember a single goddamn one of their names. Not a fucking one. Not a co-main event. Not not a a, a a prelim or a Facebook. You couldn't mention anyone that you, you was your favorite or anything like that. You couldn't even be bothered to fucking pretend. Fighting in order to pay the goddamn bills, and Jones is worried about oh being a fucking businessman. Fuck you, John. What the fuck? If John... You're not a businessman, John. If you were a businessman, you'd be running a business. Okay? You're a piece of shit. A piece of shit. A piece of shit. A piece of shit. You mean, like, somebody who did a review that couldn't even be bothered to make up some numbers. You could have sat there and said, oh, Mizugaki makes 5000 or I'm going to speculate Jake Ellenberger makes 20000 This whole time... To bitch about John Jones. You could have been a fucking fan. You you could have sat there and said, I really missed out on so-and-so because I needed to fucking watch them fight because this was important to me instead of fucking bitching about John fucking Jones. God, and fucking Greg Jackson. Oh, my God. Because it was...
Greg Jackson that talked to me. Whoa! 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 We? We? As in you and me, or you and anyone else. You haven't established shit to lump you in with anybody other than people who hate John Jones. That's it. That that's the, that's the only thing you've established from this video is I'm CMCK. I hate John Jones, which basically means if you hate John Jones, you should hate Greg Jackson. Where are you coming from? Like, you know, you're so fucking important that you had to say we. You made this about you. That's the whole fucking sad dick of this. 151 is something worth talking about. You aren't. I, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have bitched. I'm not saying that there wasn't reasons to bitch and whine or complain that shit fell through the fucking tracks. Greg Jackson didn't book this event. Dana White did. He's only one asshole. One asshole deciding not to show up shouldn't fucking bring down the UFC franchise. Am I wrong? It shoots in to the sport, and he, he just he just fucks things up every time. Never fails. The dude is poison. So I just had to say that. Let's go back again. Greg Jackson fucks things up every time. Again, I'm not defending him. I'm asking you. Pretend I'm 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 your teacher. Hit me with some fucking examples. This this shouldn't be that hard. If Greg Jackson is pure poison, you should know them like that. Like fucking three, four, five, as many examples as you need. You branded on this. And and again, you went back to we. We know this. Jones is a fucking piece of shit. I can't stand him. You know, I hope Machida knocks him senseless and fucking retires. Him. Oh. You know what it's been? It's been a fucking 30 second block where I forgot that John Jones is a piece of shit. Not, not any facts. You know, something that m might be able to have a constructive criticism or a debate or anything like that. You came up with, John Jones is a piece of shit and, and this, this is the rib tickler guys. Lyoto Machida. He's gonna fucking save mixed martial arts. The dragon. The most boring jagoff at fucking 205 is gonna save MMA! The guy... Do you remember Shogun vs. Machida 1? Whose fault was that was boring? It, w w was it Shogun's? Because you know Shogun puts on boring fights all the time, right? By the way, that's sarcasm. I wouldn't want you to fucking think I was taking it seriously! Um... Uh, how about... And I'm gonna give you a good one. Do you remember watching on TV David Heath vs. Lyoto Machida? Do you? No, you don't, fucker! You know why? Because it didn't get on fucking TV! Because the fucker was that goddamn boring! And he's gonna save us from fucking John Jones?! Are you fucking mad?! Continue. And I guess that's about it. Obviously, Chael proved that he's still the baddest man on the planet. But I just had to give this rant. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> why? Why did you have to give this rant? Um, I, I could come up with excuses and reasons so that people knew from a balanced perspective, A, B, C, and D, why you need to know, at least in theory, this was John's fault. You didn't. You didn't do All any right. of that. This is Magog. This is the House of Pain. And we're kind of doing the again, practice run because practice makes perfect, but obsession makes better. Um, I saw a video review for UFC 151, aka the show that never was, by CMCK. Yeah, I probably got that right, actually. Um, I wanted to generally mention some things that I thought didn't necessarily work in the video. For instance, this, where he's going all crazy and acting all nuts and shaking the camera and trying to show his outrage. He could have probably just stuck to the facts and got the same point across. Um, there were plenty of things to complain about in UFC 151 that I wouldn't have dumped all at John Jones's feet. Um, let's take a look at the show. One sec after shaking the camera.
darn things come loose. Oh, and that's why you don't do that in the first place. It sucks up time. Um, actually, not working with the script, I just thought after looking at the card, I would actually probably figure out why I thought this was the biggest problem here. Um, if you ditched John Jones and Dan Henderson because this card was so paper thin, there was literally no way to save it. I mean, we've seen UFC cards lose a fight or two in the past. Um, I happen to be one of Jake Ellenberger's absolute biggest fans, and Jake Ellenberger versus Jay Haran isn't main event worthy for a pay-per-view. Um, the next fight that would have been on the card, which I don't think we ever got, was Dennis Seaver versus Eddie Yagen. Um, I haven't seen Eddie Yagen fight in what feels like at least a year. Let's double check just to make absolutely sure. Oh, another reason we're not shaking anything because all the cords come flying out of your stupid ass computer. Um, one more time. Just a fun little fact, just find out how long ago Eddie Yagen fought would be nice. Okay, April of 2012, and this would have been. <sighs> date cancelled. It doesn't show the actual. What date would you have been? Well, that'd be a lot more professional if I'd have been prepared for that. <clears throat> ah, thank you, Wiki. You're worthless. Um, so, yeah, I find that fight between Yagen and Siva would have been interesting only for the fact that we haven't seen Yagen in at least a year. Um, Dennis Hallman versus Thiago Tavares, that strikes me as, eh. I, I think they, they canned uh, Hallman because he didn't make weight, or what was the story? Let's see. Did he ever fight Tavares? No, he absolutely did not. Um, another fight that we missed out on the main card would have been John Lineker versus... Yoshihiro, you were, you, you, I'm actually pretty good with Japanese names, or at least for fighters, I've heard him a couple times. Uh, skipping down to the middleweight card, we missed out on Miguel Johnson versus, or the primary card, uh, Miguel Johnson versus Danny Castillo, eh, Tegea Misugaki versus Jeff Hoagland, I actually like Tegea Misugaki, um, that, that kind of sucks, I guess that didn't happen, because I'd watch Tegea pretty much fight anyone, Tim Means versus Abel Trejillo. Not blown away. Uh, Darren Cruikshanks versus Henry Martinez. Cruikshanks, I'm trying to remember, is that that one kicker? Let's see. Yeah, he's the one who lost against Modeski. Um, that was actually a really entertaining fight. Mm. I, I lament that fight getting canceled. Shane Roller versus Jacob Volkman, seeing as I'm the only guy I know who actually minds to watch Jacob Volkman. And when they did have this fight, Jacob actually finished Roller lickety split. Um, I suppose that's kind of a bummer. Kyle Noak versus Charlie Brenneman, the last, well, the first fight on the card would have been. Um, eh. This, this isn't a fight or a fight card that you should feel like, oh my god. I got robbed because of John Jones wouldn't fight. I I actually I'm happy it didn't happen. This should have been a wake up call to Dana White. That you can't put on shit this thinly sparse and have a pay per view. It felt like a ripoff. And thankfully nobody had to get it. Yeah, I know, it's pay-per-view, nobody has to get it anyways. I can't act like this is a professional thing and I have to go order it to review it. Um, it, it was a bad pay-per-view, or at least it looked like it would have been a bad pay-per-view by names. I certainly don't blame John Jones. Not not utterly loving everything that John Jones did. If that fight would have happened and Dan Henderson would have knocked him out, I'd have been happy. Um, I sure as hell don't blame Greg Jackson for this. This was a Dana White problem. And what did Dana White do when this went wrong? He ran along and he found someone else to blame. And that's it. All right, I'm going to go back and try and edit this and see what we can add and what we can take out.